Hello everyone, this is Quiver C, and welcome back to more of Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle! Last time we took on Chapter 4-8 and pretty much stormed the gates of Bowser's Castle, where we already kind of were, but now we are like at its core, as you can very well see. And it appears that the uh, storm is centered right over it. How fitting. Before we set foot into the boss, I just want to take a moment and make sure that everyone is ready. Starting with the skills, Mario, let's power up your hero's sight. Make it a little bit tougher. Rabid Peach, I'm going to power up your healing and your hit points. Rabid Luigi, you're also getting a hit point buff. Luigi Luigi. I would power up your hit points if I could, but I can't. So I'm going to reduce the cooldown of Itchy Feet. Rabbit Mario. Health. Princess Peach. More healing. Rabbit Yoshi. More dashes. And why not? I'll increase the range of his scaredy rabbit. And Yoshi Yoshi. Uh, power up your egg beater. And your super chance range. I honestly am not sure who I'm going to be taking in this one. But I just want to make sure our bases are covered. Also, I should probably check and make sure nobody has any weapons that I want to purchase. I know Mario should be fine. Rabid Mario is fine. Luigi is fine. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Mmm. He actually could get a better sentry. So I'm gonna take the sleigh at the beach. Rabid Peach. She appears to be fine. Rabid Luigi. I still can't get a better stone orb for him. Which makes me sad. Princess Peach. I know her ducky is good. And yeah, so is her gun. Rabid Yosh. I could definitely get a better ducky. And we're definitely gonna go with the stone ducky. Sir Crackers! Indeed! And as for Yoshi Yoshi... Mmm... The di Direly Dulcet Doomsayer versus the Torpedo. Yeah, I think... I think that the du Direly Dulcet Doomsayer extra damage over the torpedo doesn't outweigh the special effects. So I'm going to keep that as it is. And he obviously doesn't have any better rumble bangs. Right. Oh, these do a little bit more overall damage, but again, the bonus against Valkyries and the range, the range especially, I think makes that my best choice. So with that out of the way, let's go. Right, it's the can. World 4 9, Bowser's Castle. Hey, hey, you gotta help my papa! He could have licked that thing himself, but something happened to him! We're too late, then! We should return to Princess Peach's castle and marshal our forces! No, please! I'm sorry about before! I know it's all my fault! Well, it's Bowser! And it's the dragon! And now they're fused! Mega Dragon Bowser! The ultimate boss does not sell how amazing this guy is. 
It, all of the forms Bowser has taken over the years, this is easily the most powerful and intimidating. Look at this thing! Ugh. Well, as we can see, he goes with a rumble bang. He has villain shite, sight. I mixed villain shot and villain sight. I shouldn't do that. And magnet dance. He has a very large range of movement, basically being able to cover the entire battlefield, so nowhere is safe. And he is a freaking tank. Also, I just noticed that it forced me into using the party I had before, and I don't think that was the best move. I kind of wish I had Yoshi with me. But we are going to play the cards we're dealt. I don't really remember much of the gimmicks of this fight, but I do remember that there be some gimmicks. So I guess we'll um, deal with those when they become relevant. For now, I think I am going to put Rabid Mario in the death zone. Have him do what he do best and destroy the world. Oh no! Oh no! I did a boom dash and hit Mario! That's not good. All right, find the dance! Get them Valkyries in here! And now, let us hammer. Uh, this one will kill two Valkyries, so we're gonna do that one. Unfortunately, I did not crit, which would have been nice. Now for Mario. We're gonna have him finish off the other two Valks with his dash and jump. I just realized I wanted to put him on the other side of Mega Dragon Bowser because now I don't think I can hammer without hitting Rapid Mario. I wouldn't have been able to anyway. So I am not gonna risk it. As for Luigi, he is going to be smart and snipe from a distance like he do. And unfortunately, just like other bosses, he is immune to special effects. Where is he gonna go? It looks like he's deciding to stop on top of some cover. Okay, so yeah, he's flying over the ground. Oh, right, doesn't he have like a shield or something? I think he does. Let's see. Okay, no, no, it's, it's just there for show. Are you serious? <sighs> What's gonna hurt more? You know what? No. I'm not chancing it. I'm gonna turn on Hero Sight and kill him when he moves. I ain't moving. I forgot he could do that. And he just did a ground pound. So yeah, he has moves that he doesn't actually have in his tell. Also, I think his attacks have a 100% chance to burn. So I ended up trying to uh, take less damage and ended up taking a whole heck of a lot more. Well, let's shoot him in the face. And now begins phase two. What are you doing? Ah, oh, great. And Mario is just in all of the wrong spots. And Luigi, Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. How fitting. Okay, I really need to get Mario out of there. Can I? Okay, I can't hit uh, Bowser from where I'm at right now with Luigi. So I'm going to put... I don't want to put Luigi too close. Okay, here's a good spot. Take the shot. And we will see if a steely stare can help. I'm going to take a risk with Rabid Mario. 
because I really want... Right, he's immune! Yes, I was trying to vamp him, forgetting that he's immune. So the thing that sucks is, I think that what he's gonna do is like move around to the four corners of the map, like, you know, go there, go there, like that. But I'm not sure what side he's gonna pick. So I'm either gonna put Mario way out in the open or have him under good cover. I think this over here is the best spot to cover for both angles. And there's enemies coming up. Okay, he's going where I wanted him to go, good. Get my steely stair shots off. All right. Then he's making fire rain. Actually, I think that might be all he does. I don't think he actually attacks with his rumble bang at this point. Ah, oh, man, my magnet dance is still on cooldown. This isn't great. I hit you. Wait. <laughs> I can get a guaranteed kill marker on myself. Well, let's attack that one with uh, the sentry. Got a crit. That's good. Hmm. I really do need to be careful, though. But I know now where Bowser is going to go. So that's helped. And I know how he's going to operate. So I think that as long as I avoid the flame zones, I'll be fine. Crit. Thank you for critting. No thank you for not getting the kill. Ah. Okay, a boom dash. A boom dash will finish him. Uh, can I move Luigi still? Yes. Mario is gonna die. Like, I don't think there's any way for me to kill all of the bucklers. So Luigi... Luigi's gonna go over here, Rabbit Mario's gonna kill probably two of them, and then Mario is gonna be just out in the line of fire and gonna die. There's not a doggone thing I can do about it. Just me. Back to you. And you. And then put you right here. Wait, how did I not kill that guy with 11 health? Well, I'm not going to get the kill on him, but I might stone him. I did it. Well, time for me to die. All right, Bowser, do your thing. Ignite the world of flame. Oh! He just put up a protection aura on his bucklers. I... Didn't realize he could do that. I'm amazed that Mario survived. I'm amazed Mario survived. He, he honestly should not have survived. Oh, but yeah, he's got his... All he has... He, he still has his rumble bang, apparently. He just isn't using it. Hey, I won't complain, but I will be confused. All right, we're gonna put Luigi over here. Clear off all of that nonsense. We're gonna empower the Marios. Now then. No, I think over here is a good spot. Thankfully, I'm getting two kills right here, right now. And now Mario 
he's gonna shoot the Bowser. Next. Right there. Perfect. Dang it! Didn't get the crit. I did get an ink there. But he can still boom dash. Which worries me because I think that will kill Mario. Well, I thought Mario was going to die before, and he didn't. Maybe I'll be proven. <laughs> uh, in hindsight, I should have magnet danced so I could have done a boom dash. Oh my lord, I got burned. And Mario is dead. Well, nothing I can do about that. But now the bucklers are all going to be dead. So... We're gonna shoot down Mega Dragon Bowser. Time to end phase two. And of course, it ain't done. Aw, oh, man! Okay, here's the shield. I did remember there being a shield. Get all the money real quick. Now let's see what we're dealing with here. So yeah, his shield is perfect. He has the Whirling Fortress attack, which... I mean, that's definitely an area attack, but I'm not sure exactly what triggers it. So right now, I think I'm just gonna worry about staying as far away from him as possible and trying to chip away at the shield. Go. Oh. Let me do that. Unfortunately, I can't do too much with Luigi, so I'm just gonna turn on his steely stare and hope for the best. Uh-oh. We got enemies popping out of the ground. Oh, that's how it is! It's a dash attack! And he still has his rumble bag. He can destroy unbreakable cover. Okay, well, there's no way on earth I'm going to be winning this one. Like, I am 100% going to lose. But, that's okay. I'm going to have to rethink my strategy and bring, an, you know, a different party to this. Because this was not a good party for this fight. That's just fact. So, come on, Smashers. Bring me down. Didn't even manage to penetrate the shield. Before you focus on Mega Dragon Bowser, try dealing with the other enemies on the battlefield. Yeah, that is a good strategy. Don't forget to experiment with different types of weapons for the heroes in your lineup. Lots of effective strategies exist between team members using the right weapons. Again, also a good tip. And, yeah, a lot of general, general stuff here. So, yeah. That's what happened there. So... I decided for attempt number two here to go with the princess instead of Luigi, but still I'm going to keep Rabbit Mario in. I think that having Rabbit Mario's magnet dance and explosive um, boom dash and all that is tantamount to getting through the, the chaff waves. But having the princess as opposed to Luigi means I get healing and I get shield. Plus her attacks are also pretty explosive and hit wide areas, so... I think it's going to work out a lot better for me in the long run. Anyways, this the first couple of waves are going to be pretty much the same, so I'm just going to speed through that real quick and meet you back at uh, phase three.
that's not how I wanted to enter phase three, but I guess we're in phase three now. I did not expect that to kill Bowser. Oh, great. So now I'm in phase three. Bucklers are still alive. Everyone's scattered, and there's... Oh, this is just all sorts of bad. I didn't even think that would hit Mario. Okay, so... I forget exactly how you break through his shield. I think it is you just have to attack it a lot. But... I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. But until I do figure that out, then that's uh, what I'm going to do. The thing that sucks is his Whirling Fortress is literally just his dash attack. And he can use it to attack you anywhere. Literally nowhere is safe. So I'm just going to hope that he doesn't go for Mario because Mario has the least health right now. Here we go. Who's he gonna hit? He's going for the princess. Yeesh. Okay. And the smashers are starting to wake up. Here comes the rumble bang. And there's a buckler right in her face. Well, at least he attacked Bowser a couple of times there, too. Whew. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Alright, where's... Where's Rabbit Mario? Alright, Rabbit Mario. Deal with the Smashers. That is all I can ask you to do. Please crit! Well, it was nice knowing you, Rabbit Mario. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm okay with how that ended, at least. That was good. That was really good and really stupid. <sighs> okay. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No. I want to be smart with this. First, I'm going to attack Mega Bowser Dragon. Just because I can. I mean, I'm gonna get hit no matter what I do. So, what I'm gonna do is put up protection. Now, dash, jump, and hit. And now I'm in two positions, so that way he won't be able to hit both of them with the same attack. And I can attack with Peach. And what the heck, I'll turn on Hero Sight because I can. What? Uh. Oh, he didn't. Oh, no, there he goes. Wait a minute. I'm starting to think I'm making a mistake with his shield, and I think I might know what it is. To that end, I'm going to try something. Put Peach over there. Thankfully, when fully upgraded, her heal is actually pretty substantial. And now, I'm going to keep shooting just in case I'm wrong. But I might not be in this case. I think we need to have him use his whirling fortress attack and hit the metal block. So now he's going to do that. He's in a Whirling Fortress. Yes! Okay, that's what it is. We have to trick him and stun him. That's what I was doing wrong. Let's put up a shield just in case things go screwball. Empower. We're going to start by blasting with the princess. And jump. I'm going to put her over here. And Mario. 
I really want to take advantage of Empower. So I'm going to put you over here. And Hammer. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, now he's back in shield mode. So now, we hide over here. And we hide over here. And that's it. Okay, he goes back to the center and spin and dizzy. Good news is I can hammer and then move, so Mario is going to be in a good position. Hmm. I feel like over there will be safer from his rumble bang. Meanwhile, the princess can attack. The ducky will hurt Mario, so I'm not going to do it. Boom shot! And I'm going to put her over here. Keep her nice and safe. All right, Bowser, what you going to do? Oh, you went straight for the... I didn't think he would do that. Well, I guess it's up to Peach now. Lovely. Well, Princess. Good luck. Okay. I'm not going to be able to kill in this turn. Unless I crit. Come on, crit. Yes! And now with that, they have split. That is a tough fight. Now everyone pulls out their starting guns. Here comes the dragon. And down it goes. Spawny. Uh, I guess I owe you guys a debt of gratitude or whatever. I just hope this has taught you a lesson. Taught us all a lesson, really. We are not to meddle with all for forces beyond our understanding. Look, I can't promise that I'll be good forever. I'll try. You did kind of free my dad from a big scary dragon thing. Uh, guess I'll have to take my lumps when he wakes up. Unless you want to take the fall for me. I mean, he already hates Mario, so... A tempting offer. Alas, we must return to Princess Peach's castle to let everyone know that the threat to the Mushroom Kingdom has passed. I love that everyone does their victory pose. All at once. Oh, yeah, well, until next time. Yeah, the par for that is seven turns. So that was... Definitely a rough victory. But a victory nonetheless. Whew. That is Bowser's Castle complete. Everyone gets a little stronger. We get some more weapons. We, of course, unlock the challenges. And more co-op. But that is the last chapter of the main story.
Oh. And now it would seem that the rabbits are just integrated in mushroom society. As is now evidenced by this statue. <laughs> She's going to take a group picture. And that is Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Holy crap. Said it way back at the start and say it again. This game is way better than it had any right to be, given the absolute absurdity of the concept. I mean, putting Mario in a strategy game, mixing Mario with the Rabbids of all things, just how did they make this actually work <laughs> I mean the gameplay you know you you can tell I'm sure it's really simple but they do a lot with it like it gets pretty complicated for how straightforward it is It feels almost like an oxymoron to say that, now that I think about it. Either way, we are far from actually being done. Because I've still got Worlds 3 and 4's challenges to do, as well as their secret chapters. There's getting the gold trophies on all of them. There's the special challenges. There's actually a few other special challenges that aren't even tied to any chapter. And there's the Buddy Dome, which I am still interested in seeing how that works, what that is. You know, if it's actually, like, new content. And then there's the Donkey Kong DLC. So, there is still a lot to do. Um, Sorry, the, the way that music is cutting out is really distracting me and breaking my already shattered train of thought. I don't like that. I, I wish it would just... St either stick to a song or actually have a better transition. Ugh. The music in this game is also absolutely fantastic. It bums me out that I've been getting copyright strikes on it left and right. Like, not even by any of the actual IP owners, too. <laughs> Remember that picture? We actually saw her take that one in the middle of the battle. I do love that it actually shows some of the pictures that she herself took along the journey. Rabbit Peach. She's addicted to her phone, what can we say? I'm really not sure what else I can add to this that hasn't already been, you know, said or shown, unfortunately. This is just one of those games that really speaks for itself. So, taking over with a bit of post-commentary here, because I kid you not, these credits go on for another 20 or so minutes. And I basically just spent the entire time rambling in utter nonsense. Uh, so I guess while I was just speeding through the credits here, I've given a little bit more thought to some of the aspects that made this game work, despite its oddities. And I think that the biggest thing that people were concerned about with it, rightfully so, was the inclusion of the rabbits. I'll just say now, I have never actually played any game that has those things in it, except this one. Come to think of it, about the only exposure I've had to them before this game was just from commercials and stuff for, like, the TV show or something like that, and a couple of their games. Since going through some of this, I've watched a couple of people who have played bits and pieces of some of their games, and I think I have an idea as to why it worked a little better in this. And it literally is... I, I, I honestly forget, so forgive me if I'm repeating myself. I forget if I'd already said this during the playthrough. But I think it literally is just because the Rabbids are so... Over the top random and stupid that when they're the sole focus, like the primary focus of things, they they become overwhelming to the point that it's annoying. 
But when you put that kind of energy into a game that is strategic, where you need to stop, slow down, take your time, it gives your brain a chance to, like, sift through some of the nonsense the rabbits do to where they actually serve what I feel like was their best purpose, comedic relief. Combine that with the fact that it's... They're not the only things there. It's, you know, a Mario-centric universe, so there's something more pleasant and familiar about the actual setting. And I think that's why this odd concoction ended up working. Like, I honestly feel like if they had done it with any other genre of game, or if they had done it as just Rabbids and didn't have Mario involved, this would not have been nearly as good a game. Even if, mechanically speaking, it was identical, I feel like the overall tone and feel of the game would not have been anywhere near as strong as it was. Having said that, they definitely do overuse some of the rabbit humor in a lot of areas, I feel like. But, that's also done in a way that makes it, for the most part, optional. What I'm referring to is like all the little bits where there's rabbits doing stupid stuff off the side of the road and you can push the A button to have Beepo give you a zoom in and a commentary on it. Yeah, some of those honestly run a little dry for me. But it's not like you're forced to do it. And even then, most of the time it was good for, again, the same purpose of just giving your mind a moment to just laugh at something stupid in between moments of strategic and stressful battles. And I feel like that especially comes more into the fore the later into the game you get, since, as I mentioned before, the gameplay in this is really simple, and it does take it a bit before it starts to really show its teeth. Anyways, that's about all I can think of to, like, further sum up my thoughts on it. And, uh... Yeah, these credits are still... Still going for a little bit longer here. Funny enough, I think that it doesn't even show all of them. As you'll see in a minute here, it, it's going to kind of cut off without any real warning. I think it actually cuts itself off early. So I'll just let that happen and cut back to live commentary now. Duh. Okay. Those just abruptly ended. Uh, sure, why not? If ever a single appliance in all of history has caused more trouble for more people, I'd like to hear about it. Wait a moment. History! I could use this time machine to help our past selves rescue Spawny and save the Mushroom Kingdom more easily. Wait, what if I did that already? What if your biggest fan was me the whole time? Nonsense. What kind of an insecure egomaniac would lavish that much praise on themselves? Though, maybe I should forward those messages to my past self, just in case. Dearest Beepo, whose bravery, intelligence, and compassion... Etc, etc, I'll just copy the rest. Let's see, who should I put as sender's name so I don't consume, confuse myself later? I mean, earlier! <laughs> I know, FB for future Beepo. Yup. Yup. He closed the time paradox. Oh, wait, I forgot the attachments. On second thought, perhaps I should leave well enough alone. One never knows what unintended consequences something like this could have. Too late now. Ah, well, what could possibly go wrong? And thus, the question of... Where did those weapons actually come from in the first place? Remains unanswered. I have no idea. Good lord, though, those credits, they lasted a while. And, oh yeah, the castle is gold. 
I think that's because we we beat the game and like my main file here is at super 100%. So that's what because that, that's what makes it gold is getting 100% on everything. Like you see those gold emblems. So I think that's why it's gold is because of file one. It didn't do that when I started up the game last time though. I don't know. Either way, that is going to do it for now. So I think that next time on Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, I'm gonna start working on the challenges of chapter three. Oh no, the castle is gold down. Everyone pay attention. Yes, we were awesome and heroically defeated the Megabug, but we still have work to do. First, we need to explore the Mushroom Kingdom for places to use my new talent, Dig. I'd start with the Lava Pit. Oh yeah, I've forgotten all about that. There's not just digging to do in the Lava Pit. It seems there are a lot of corrupted rabbits there for us to find and liberate as well. My finely tuned sensors also detect increased activity at the Buddy Dome and four ultimate challenges hidden near Peach's Castle. Anxious to get started? Good! So... Let's -a go! Yes, Beepo has unlocked his final action. Dig. Which clears up those little holes in the ground. Whew. Oh, and yeah, now instead of a destroyed statue, we have this. Well, if all this didn't go to her head before, it certainly will now. I also love the little sunflower. I just now noticed, this is supposed to mimic the Statue of Liberty, isn't it? Like, the flower is the book and the phone is the torch? Totally is. I didn't notice until just now. But yes, next time on Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, we are going to be making a triumphant return to World 3 to begin work on the challenges there. I'll have to think about how I want to space it out. But... I guess I'll worry about that when I get there. Either way, thanks for those credits. This has already gone on long enough, so thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah,